That's the four subscribe. No, I can't count. Here's two of me or four plus four. That's the eight subscriber happy dance. See, I'm so happy I can't even count. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, ep episode four, that's what I was thinking. This is the fourth video I've created, and we're up to eight subscribers, eight whole subscribers. Yeah, you know, whoop de doo whoop de doo There's guys out there with, you know, 200,000 subscribers. Well, good for them. They deserve it. That's great. But um, as as you may know, if you've watched before, and you probably have, because i got a lot more views than subscribers, um, I'm a noob. I'm a little shy of four months now being totally tobacco-free. Um, and uh, it, it's all because of vaping. My, my first mod right here, still using it, it's a... Uh, Tesla uh, um, goes up to 15 watts, nothing fancy, just uh, I kind of graduated along the way from the Sigalites to the the, uh, the Ego Styles and, and finally into this and I've been even starting to get into mechanicals and, and uh, yeah, this is cool. I'm just here to share what I enjoy with you and what I enjoy right now is vaping and I enjoy sharing what I'm learning as I'm going along. For other people that are just beginning this journey as well, because there's plenty of guys out there on YouTube and plenty of blogs and you know all, all sorts of resources if you want to talk to the hardcore pros at this. Um, but uh, what I notice when I began my journey is that not being a pro myself, uh, it was very difficult to follow along. So I figured I'm just going to chronicle what I'm doing and what I'm learning, and uh, if that works for you, you know that's that's awesome. Um, now, back in episode one or two, I, I mentioned that I wasn't going to do any e-juice re e reviews, and I will eventually learn to speak. Um, reasoning behind that, I'm thinking, was that it's so subjective with different tastes and what people like, you know, how can how can I, and you know, with all the flavors that are out there on, on, on e-juice, how can, you know, how can I say something is good when, you know, you may totally hate the flavor for not because the juice sucks, just because you don't like the flavor. I mean, you know, it's it's crazy out there. And there are some crazy flavors out there. I, I just randomly searching around, I found a roast chicken vape. Uh, I'm like, really? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, hey, yeah, like I said, different flavors, uh, different flavor profiles. People like different things. So, anyway, I thought <clears throat> I would I would present to you a uh, a review based on what I look for when, when I scan YouTube looking for new new juices to try and, and information that's important to me. Um, now, one advantage of being a noob, these vendors aren't throwing juices at me. I'm buying this myself. It's not like I got tons and tons of stuff to review that, you know, that, that they're checking at me. They're not doing that. I'm buying this myself. And <clears throat> as you know, when you when you buy things yourself, you, you may have some different criteria that you're looking into. Um, for me, it's the whole shopping experience. Now... I stumbled across a juice, Toth, by Crescent City Clouds. Yes, Crescent City Clouds. Um, I got this in my vape box as a, a sampler. If you don't know what vape box is, it's a monthly subscription where uh, they basically send you a box of random juices every month uh, for you to sample. And that's my primary method of, of discovering new new flavors right now is through these, these various sampler boxes. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> I stumbled across Toth. Is it Toth or Thoth? I, I don't know. It sounds like I have a list if I do the TH there. Anyway, um, I love it. I love it. I love it so much I pretty much sucked down a bottle in a, in a matter of days. So um, I went over to Crescent City Clouds to order some more. And I have to tell you that the shopping experience was awesome. Um, website isn't all that fancy, but it doesn't have to be. That's all right. It's a Shopify website. Um Designed for shopping, and, and that's exactly what I was there to do. So that worked out. Um, I, I didn't care that there wasn't all kinds of animations and things jumping out and and and, and so forth. So <clears throat> I did a quick search, saw their whole line of juices, found the toss, and uh, bam, add to cart. Wonderful. Uh, while I was there, started browsing around uh, at some other, other offerings they had, and um, Orpheus jumped out at me. Um, it is a uh, it's described as a as a tobacco menthol blend, and I I like menthol, and I know not a lot of people are, are big menthol fans, but uh, I I do like 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 menthol, and and I wanted to try something basically at random. I had no recommendation on this. It was like I think it was their only menthol blend they had on the site, and um, 
I, I just wanted to see if there was something out there that didn't taste like Newports. So, uh, so I picked up a bottle of this. Now, let me continue on my shopping experience. Now, effortless, you know, click, add to cart, click, add to cart, you know, name, address, phone number, the usual. Um, and my next big surprise, like a lot, I noticed a lot of these vape, uh, vape juice companies out there, they're, they're really, really at the beginning spend, spectrum of startup class. And uh, a lot of them aren't set up for credit cards, uh, and they force you to do PayPal or, you know, something like that, or Google Wallet. And that's fine. I've, I've used it. I've, I've grown comfortable enough to use it. But uh, what I really like using is my American Express. And um, when I saw they took American Express, I was really thrilled. I have definitely got to be a regular customer now because, uh, you know, I, I love doing the American Express. I get points on it. It's extremely secure, you know. Unlike uh, using PayPal or using a debit card where, you know, if there is a problem with your account, it's it's a nightmare getting it resolved. And half the times, all they can do is change your account number and you're, you're screwed out of whatever happened. But you know, Amex really stands behind their customers, so I really, I'm really a huge Amex fan. And uh, no, they're not endorsing me for that that at all or compensating me for that endorsement. Um, anyway, off on to the review. Thoth, it is a... Not break. What do they call it? Is it are they saying a chocolate vanilla with that? Um, before I take a hit off it, yes. Um, they're calling a savory nut bread sprinkled in vanilla and chocolate. Um, and let me refresh my memory here. Yeah, <laughs> this stuff is great. Um, I, I I don't know why in my head. Even though it's not listed in the ingredients, in my head, banana comes in. I don't know if it's just that my brain automatically associates banana with nut bread or or, or what. But I, it could be just the sweetness from the vanilla. I think talking. Um, yeah, but they're, they're according to the description, there's no banana in there. But it it's definitely a real nut bread. I, as soon as as soon as I vaped it, my mouth just I just started drooling because I love nut bread. Um, and it just it's just a real pleasant experience and i found that it's not not so overbearing that it, you, you you know you can only smoke it a little bit i i like i said i went through a bottle in no time at all um i was vaping on this all day long at work and in the car and everything and and it was really really good it just it, it didn't overpower me didn't bore me it just i, I just really enjoyed it it's a high quality, high quality uh, juice. Um, all VG has a very nice viscosity to it. It, um, you know, it's interesting. I, I've, I've tried plenty of um, of 100% VG juices, and, and they're not all the same. Some are a lot less vicious, viscous, and some are, are even too thick. It's it, there's there is a variable to it. I'm not I'm not sure if that's the the, the the VG itself that's making a difference if it's uh, if they're um, pre steeping it in some kind of uh, you know shaking uh, ultrasonic vapor uh, shaker machine of sorts but uh, but they're not all they're not, definitely not all the same um, this is high quality stuff I, I really you can just tell it's not just something it's not just a, you know a guy in a basement that uh, you know got his um, <laughs> his flavor apprentice uh, sampler pack and and whipped something out. Of it. Some some effort went into this. Is a really good blend of uh, of flavors in here, and it's it's nice. Uh, I vaped it right out of the box with no steeping, and it was good. Um, after a couple of days, the, the it, it it did darken in the uh, in the in the bottle, but um, the flavor really didn't alter a whole lot. I I, I could say it did get maybe a little more sweeter um, it, it, I want to say aromatic yeah aromatic it became aromatic you started after the vaping you could you could smell a hint of it in the air in the in the, in the vapors and uh, that's kind of what happened with with the steeping but uh, like I said right out of, right out of the box it was good it was a really good vape um, Orpheus wow that was different um, let me change my my addy here. Um, the uh, 
toss that I was vaping was on a, a plume veil 2.2 ohm uh, coil horizontal at 15 watts and that was really really good this one is going to be out of an Aris mod uh, with a 1.5 ohm uh, vertical coil and also at 15 watts now the uh, vapor production on this is good as well it's 100% uh, Vici but you're going to notice it's not going to be as good in the video mainly because this Aris is um, more of a, of, a, of a flavor flavor atomizer than a cloud cloud pumper um, so the, the clouds just in general aren't that great out of this so don't discredit the juice for the uh, for the for the the, the clouds you're going to see. As you can see, it's still really great production there. Um, it'd probably be even more so if I did that in a pool veil or uh, or, or you know or a, a cloud chasing setup. Um, but anyway, very good. The it really caught me by surprise. Um, like I said, it's described as, uh, as let me just go to the website real quick. Yeah, a menthol tobacco blend that has a soothing exhale, and uh, and that it does. That's when you really feel the menthol is on the, on the uh, on the output and on the intake. The tobacco has a warmth to it. It's um, <clears throat> uh, similar, not quite, kind of a, kind of a cross between a pipe tobacco and a cigar tobacco. It, it's it's warm. It has a warmth to it. Uh, maybe a Maduro cigar, if, if, if you ever smoked cigars before. I quit those too, by the way. Um, but, yeah, this is... This is really nice. I especially like this after a meal. The uh, For me, the menthol tends to cleanse your palate. Um, if you have a savory or a spicy meal that leaves a lot of aftertaste, the menthol seems to clear that out. So this would be my go-to vape for sure after a meal, and it kind of keeps you refreshed. It gives you a, a I mean, that's the nature of menthol. It kind of gives you a perkiness. It kind of, it, it wakes you up. It exhilarates you. Um, awesome vape. Again, very high quality. Unsteep totally. This came shipped totally, I mean, it just arrived today. Pulled it out of the box. I mean, you can see I just, just started dripping this. Um, and it's awesome. Packing, by the way, by um, Crescent City. Nice, easy to open bubble wrap. They didn't. Some companies tape the daylights out of it, and you got to take a freaking blade to it to crack it open. Easy open. I like that. Even the mailing mailing package and dropping my. <laughs> I can't even have tanks anymore because I crack them by dropping it all the time. Um, First class mail, total order. I ordered it over a weekend. I got it in five days, I think. Five days total. And it's right, and, and we're right around Christmas right now, so the post office is jammed. So it, it came quick. Uh, the response was quick. The delivery was quick. No complaints. Um, I, I get attention to detail. The, the envelope, it's a quality one. It was one of those self-adhesive ones. Um, I was able to open it up with my hands without taking scissors to it or anything. I like that. I'm an old guy. I don't want to screw around with knives and scissors and crap. I, I hurt myself, you know. I'm not coordinating that anymore. So, Crescent City Clouds, you guys, you guys rock. Um, threw in their their business card, phone number, website on the back. Got an awesome sticker. This is going on the back of my laptop because that's what I tend to do with my stickers. Because I don't have any box mods yet. If I had a box mod, I'd put this on the box mod. I really would. Um, and also they have a request, uh, they would like a review on JuiceDB.com and, uh, and uh, the QR code, cool, because I'm a geek, QR code to, hop, code to hop right on there with your, your mobile and, and do the review. So anyway, that's it. <clears throat> Crescent City Clouds, we tested Orpheus, Toth, Class Axe, really good vapes. I'm going to order again, no complaints. And I guess that wraps up my first review. Sorry I went a little long. I wasn't intending to go 15 minutes here, but uh, you probably skipped ahead halfway through once I told you it was good. Uh, fumes.com, P-F-U-M-E-S.com is the blog. Uh, I'm going to try cross-posting my reviews there along with some text just to have it in a better searchable format. And uh, please, subscribe, comments below.
Uh, Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter. Fumes. Definitely. I'm a Twitter dude. I like Twitter a lot. Uh, and everywhere else on social media. So, till then, be good and thanks for watching.